three ways narcissists get their karma. They really believe that they can do whatever they want and get away with it without them having to face any consequences for their actions but it doesn't work that way. What you put out is what you get back. We are all subject to the universal law of exchange. Things balance out over time. So although things may be looking good for them right now, it's only a matter of time until karma comes to get them in these three ways. One, they end up in a toxic relationship. They may have complained about how bad things were with you. After they had drained you of your energy and used up all of your money. So then they started to think the grass was greener on the other side. They were looking for the bigger better deal, the next shiny new toy. But they unknowingly ended up being trapped by a manipulative or toxic person. Someone who portrayed an image of wealth and power. Someone who told them they desired love and commitment. Someone who sold them a dream. And now this person may be living in their home. Eating all of their food. Spending all of their money. And they wonder how they ended up in this situation. But it's because they're gullible and naive. They're easily deceived when they're seeking out a new target. You can tell them anything and they will believe it. Because they want to believe that anyone is better than you. They see things in black and white. They have to do that in order to function. So in their minds a person is either all good or all bad. But for you to be bad, someone else has to be good. And that's where they fall right into the arms of a toxic person, someone who is using them. Which is easy for people to do because they're in a vulnerable state after they have left you. They're left without attention and validation. And they may be left without money or a place to stay. So they're desperately seeking a new target. And they will fall for anything. Two. They will never be happy. You did everything you could for them. You gave them all of your time, energy and money. But it was never enough. They were never satisfied. But they portrayed it as though something was wrong with you. As though you just needed to do more. They acted as though other people were better than you. Because they didn't want to accept that something was wrong with them just because they didn't appreciate you that doesn't mean you didn't have value many of you were letting them stay in your home many of you were buying them food and paying their bills they came up after being with you but they're never going to accept it because that would mean something is wrong with them for not being grateful And if they were satisfied with what you did for them, that would mean you've done enough. And then you'd be looking at them, realizing that they're not bringing anything to the table. They're not doing anything for you. But the truth is they can't be happy with anything because they're unhappy with themselves. They have a void within them which they are constantly trying to fill. 
but who will never be enough because they're not enough for themselves. Which is why they always needed more from you. But instead of accepting this, they chose to blame you. They will always blame someone else instead of taking accountability. And that is why they will never be happy. Three, they end up losing you. In the end, they push away the person who loves and cares for them the most, the person who was always by their side, the person who would have done anything for them. They made you think that you weren't good enough, while they were consuming everything that you had to offer. When you know that most people wouldn't do a fraction of what you did for them, most people wouldn't tolerate what you had to go through, and they couldn't even do a fraction of what you were doing for them, which is how you should know that they must secretly value it, because they're able to exaggerate and overestimate the value and importance of what little they have. So of course they recognize your value, they just don't want to accept it because they see it as though they're giving you your power to preside over them. When they want to preside over you. But it is that power play that eventually causes you to deviate from them because you understand that they're not qualified or credible enough to steal the ship. And yet they want to be the captain. Yet they are leading you away from your established course. So you realize that they're not a good leader because they don't have your best interests in mind. And they don't want you to realize your power over them. So at that point, your only option is to leave. And that is when they will begin to feel that karma is affecting them. But they will do whatever it takes to avoid their karma. They will use lies and manipulation. They will smear your name. They will drag you for the courts. They will fight for child support or alimony. But what they're really doing is... They are trying to evade the consequences of their own actions. They are trying to evade their karma. They are trying to obey the parts of themselves that they don't like and then assign them to you so that you can be made accountable so that they can force you to take responsibility for the results of their actions. When in the end this lack of accountability is what really drives them into a ditch because they want to be the captain of the ship. But authority and control without any accountability is a recipe for disaster. Which is why they all experience the same results. They're like lambs to the slaughter. They think they're going to get away with it. They think that it's going to be different this time. It's going to be different for them. Because they're smarter. They're more aware of what could happen. But it always comes back to get them. It always ends in the same way. Thank you for watching.
you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.